hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Balisa M and this is my YouTube channel Duh. <laughs> if you're new to my channel please click that subscribe button don't forget to put the notification bell on because you don't want to miss any of my videos today's video I'm reviewing this gorgeous wig from Angie Queen hair they sent me this wig to review and I'm going to tell you guys all about it this is a 22 inch body wave wig I did curl it um, just to show you guys how I curl hair but also because I wanted to enhance the waves and I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them for me in the comment section down below don't forget to comment like share and subscribe enjoy the video so the hair came in this silk dust bag and I'm going to show you what's inside the bag they sent me some wig caps and these gorgeous lashes I can't wait to rock these and then this is the order details of this hair. This is the actual hair. It is a body wave as you can see. I did co-wash it but I am going to curl it just so I can give these waves a bit more drama. I will be curling my wig on the mannequin head. I have burnt my ears and forehead far too many times to try and attempt curling the hair on my head so I'm just going to put this on the mannequin head and then I'm going to pin it down so the wig does not move This hair really is so soft like I couldn't resist I kept brushing it and I kept running my fingers through it because it's so lush and soft and it's also very full to start off with I'm going in with my Tresemme heat protectant spray and I'm going to spray liberal amount of it all over the hair working it in with my fingers and then I'm going to take my brush and brush it through just so I know the strands are protected from the heat as I will be styling with a heat tool. Next, I'm going to start sectioning the hair off after I brush it. Um, sectioning the hair just helps me, like the curls just fall better and it's a bit more organized for me to curl in that way because the curler I'm going to use is very, very small and I can't take really big sections of the hair. Otherwise, the waves are not going to come out the way I want them to. To curl, I will be using this Safeway dong and you can see it's just a regular old dong that I got a few years ago. I am going to take a section of the hair, wrap it around. You will see in the next clip I will show you exactly how I wrap it around but I like to go under. Um, you can turn it the other way but this is just how I prefer my curls. I hold it in a bit and then I unravel the curl place it in my palm and sort of scrunch it together waiting for it to cool and then I let it loose. I'm just going to repeat that step again. You see me releasing the curl and that's how it looks like. The curls are a bit tight but we are going to sort of brush them out so they create that sexy wave that you guys saw in the beginning of the video. So basically you see me repeating the same step but I just want to say I am eyeing a bigger barrel curler that I saw at Clicks. It is a Revlon one, I think it's 25 millimeters. I would really love to have a bigger barrel because the curls will lay differently 
and yeah once i get that i will definitely do a styling tutorial for you guys So this is what the curls look like once I'm done. Um, then I'm going to go in with my got to be blasting free spray. This is actually quite a good spray to hold curls. I'm just going to fa fa on these curls so they can hold. Um, this will help them keep their shape in some instances. That's it for the curl tutorial. Now time to install. So the hair is still in its curled form. I have not combed out the curls. I'm just going to put the wig on my head and try to place it correctly before I'm going to tack it down. Because I'm still going to beat my face, I like to move the hair out of my face. What I do is I just gently pull the curls back and I get all the hair out of my face. And I will put it up in a ponytail while I install and do my makeup. So I'm about to cut the lace and I'm using these scissors that I got from a manicure kit. They're nice and small and they can go into every nook and cranny sweetie. So that is the scissor that I use. I'm just going in a zigzag motion getting rid of the excess lace. Then I'm going in with the goat got to be blasting free spray i'm just going to spray that on the edges and i am going to um, be doing this because i don't want the hair to move i'm going on with this elastic band keep the band in for a few minutes and then when i take it off that lace will be melted So I'm just going to pin the hair quite tightly away from my face so that I'll be able to blend my foundation all the way to my hairline, wipe away the got to be. Once my makeup is done, I let my hair down, then I just went in with my brush and as you can see i'm combing those curls out and that is how i create these sexy body wave curls i love how this hair holds a curl and it is so soft even after spraying it with the got to be because some hair becomes hard and doesn't have any movement but i'm very happy to finish off my hair i'm going in with the ogx moroccan oil serum i just spread a bit of that in my palms and then i am applying it all over the hair including the ends working it through so that it will moisturize and give the hair some sheen and that is it for this video this is the hair from angie queen hair it is 22 inches 180 percent density 4x4 lace closure body wave wig i will leave all the details for you in the description box down below please don't forget to comment like share and subscribe i will see you in my next one